in this episode of how to solve questions like we will solve an integral a definite integral it is the product of three terms the first term is the square root of 3 plus secant square x times secant square x times tan x dx over the interval 0 to pi by 4 so okay in this question what if I took secant square x as uh, substitution of something if I find out the derivative of secant square x I will get 2 secant, uh, uh, secant x and then the derivative of secant x according to the chain rule so we will get secant x times tan x so that will be 2 secant square x tan x and secant square x tan x is available to us so first of all let us do the substitution we will do substitution substitution of u as 3 plus secant square x now differentiating both sides du gives us the differential of a constant is 0 so ignoring that part the derivative of secant square x is 2 times secant x and then chain rule comes into play secant x tan x so that gives us a du that is equal to twice of secant square x times tan x so this is the term we are using to solve our integral question so now I am not changing the limits right now let us substitute u let us substitute this part 3 plus secant square x as u and then we let us remove this secant square x tan x dx part and substitute it with du so when x is equal to 0 up to x is equal to pi upon 4 we have square root of u and if we have to have this 2 right here in this expression one thing we can do is divide both sides by 2 so if we divide this side by 2 and this side by 2 we can cancel this out and we will have du upon 2 as secant square x tan x so tan x and dx don't forget the dx like I did so du over 2 this is a simpler integration right so let us do this one so it is 1 over 2 and integral of root u square root u du x equals to 0 x equals to pi over 4 so now square root of something that is square root of u is just the same as u raised to the power 1 over 2 so the integral of u raised to the power 1 over 2 is equal to the integration of whole this thing will be equal to u to the power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 and we have this 1 over 2 in front of it always and the interval for which we have to evaluate this expression is x equals 0 to x equals to pi over 4 why am I using x equals to thing because I have to change this u in terms of x again so I am keeping that so if you can see 2 and 2 cancel each other out so we will be left with 1 third of u to the power 3 over 2 defined over the interval x equals to 0 to x equals to 
equal to pi over 4. So now changing here in terms of x we can write it as one third of secant square x plus 3 times square root of 3 plus secant square x right because u is equal to 3 plus secant square x over the interval now 0 to pi by 4 because there is no use now writing x equals to x equals this is directly in terms of x so we will evaluate this expression right here so if we evaluate that we get one third first we will put the value of the upper limit so secant x at pi by 4 is root 2 so secant square x will be 2 plus 3 times under root 3 plus again secant square pi by 4 will be 2 we have this turned round now we will be using the lower limit the lower limit is 0 right so secant 0 is 1 because cos cosine of 0 is also 1 so reciprocal of cosine is secant so secant 0 is also 1 so secant square 0 will be equal to 1 again so 1 plus 3 times under root 3 plus secant square 0 that is 1 so this is the expression now simplifying this we will get one third of 5 times root 5 minus 4 times root 4 now root 4 is equals to 2 so 4 times 2 is equal to 8 so we can write this equals one third of 5 root 5 minus 8 so that is it that is the integral which we are asked the integral of under root 3 plus secant square x secant square x tan x dx over 0 to pi by 4 interval is equal to this thing one third of the difference of 5 root 5 and 8 so let me draw a square over here so this is our answer hope the doubt was clear you can ask me any physics mathematics chemistry or biology questions in the comment section below thank you